Welcome to the Wilderness Channel. This is Gary Lyon. This video is about common seashells and shore animals of Oman that are typically found along the coastline and um, some of the sign. This is Tarotella cochlea, a spiral shell which is found typically along the beaches. Ambronia vestiarium are very decorative shells found all over the beaches in large numbers. Stromus decorus is a mimic of Aconis textili, which is a venomous barb or spine. This is Polynices tumidus, a uh, moon shell as it's called, and Leverite didyma, which very, very much resembles it. Uh, yellow boxfish, Ostracine cubicus uh, skull, which has been found uh, washed up on the shore. Oliver bulbosa, very colorful shells with different patterns on them. Um, wonderful for collecting. Nosaurus coronatus, uh, these shells have these uh, no nodules which are crown-like. Uh, never write a didymo again, you can see the rich colors on it, uh, which makes it an attractive shell for collecting. Also a nice spiral. Uh, the Venus comb, Murex scolopax, which has these spines uh, and extensions. Lophiotoma indica, which is a spiral shell with an extension on the end. Um, a fairly common shell, Hexaplex custerianus, um, an interesting kind of shape, uh, certainly uh, not that common. Cypria ocellata is a cowrie shell, one of the many species found in the region. Conus shell again, which is a venomous barb. Callista erisina, which is one of the bivalves found along the coastline of Oman. Architectonica perspectiva, uh, it's a spiral like shell. Ancilla castanea, so it's a chestnut like color. Sea fig, Ficus subintermedia, which is a fig shape. Chorites bicolor, another bivalve with striking colors. Clammy senatorius, a bivalve clam like organism. Cypria, another group of um, cowries. Porcupine fish and spine, Diodon hystrix. Uh, Stromus plicatus sibaldii, also another crown-like shell formation. Babylonia spirata has these orange patterns on it, kind of like Babylonian text. There it is again, it's a number of different sizes. Cardites bicolor again with a striking orange color pattern. An oyster which has been picked off the rocks and opened, several oyster shells. Terebralia palustris from the mangrove swamps. Salmatium trilineatum, kind of like a toad shell. Hexaplex custerianus with, ex, with its egg case, which is very distinctive. Polynices tumidus with an egg casting, this is typically found along the beach. Ghost crab markings from, from feeding sign. Um, green turtle here, damaged by a boat prop and killed, so one of the many hazards for green turtles. Cuttlefish, sepia ferioni. Common in this area, cuttlefish bones are used for buoyancy. Tono luteostoma with beautiful spiral ridges. This is a paper nautilus, Argonauta hyans. Okay, coral washed ashore. Granulated chitin and Acantha pleura granulata, crown jellyfish, Nectrostoma situtiana is a very very large spectacular jellyfish, sun jellyfish very common along the shore, Cambonia orsini, Dentalium octangulatum it's kind of like a tusk shell, house crow tracks cause spinning so one of the signs of animals that occur in the beach, cuttlefish bone from Sepia ferioni. Often used for birds. It has a sea hair camouflaged with cryptic coloration on a plisia. Pecton dorothea, another example of a bivalve. Um, he has a barnacle species, and I think it's a cathalamic barnacle. Sleriptinid or hard coral shell. Uh, polychaete worms, they typically make these tubes uh, that they live in. Atrin of Exilum. It's a sort of muscle-like shell. Epitonium pallus, very, very strange or odd shell with these ridges. 
Xenophora corrugata always has stones embedded in it. This is an Ogonauta hyans with an egg case. The eggs are rich, dark yellow to orange in color. And they're found, this one was found washed ashore, still alive, but unfortunately we were unable to save it and it perished. But very interesting shells. Um, the shells used for buoyancy as well. This is a Pedina, probably Burgessini. Um, it's one of the seaweed species that are common on the shoreline. So Pedina, then we have what I think is either Colerpa or Codium as another seaweed species, typically found along the shore. This is a Zoanthid, which is a coral rel relative or anthozoan. Um, it's kind of got a greenish appearance and lives typically in shallow areas and rocks. This is a brittle star. They move by uh, flexing their legs and they also have tube feet on their feet, legs which help with movement. Black Sea Cucumber. Order Holothuridae, another granulated chitin, Acanthopleura granulata, in amongst the rocks. A rock crab, maybe Grapsus, a type of Grapsus species. And here we have a, the sea slug again, a plesia, in, in its typical habitat. You can see the rocks in the bottom right. Then you also see the green algae on which it feeds. And on the top right hand picture, you see the droppings that it makes. It's actually that specimen making a dropping there. And you also have the front view with the tentacle eyes, um, typical of, of all slugs. So the sea slug of Plisia. Thank you for watching.